Hello, everybody. It is Al Knight. Oh, sorry about the cursor. Good thing I remembered to move it off. Um, it's Al Knight and it's Brony time. Welcome back to my Let's Play The Crooked Man. Now, last time we left off, we found all the pieces, I believe, to the box. So we're going to head to that box, put them in, and see what they uncover. So, yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm pretty sure the door... All right, here we are. All right. It's blocked, so you can't get out. You can't get out here, though. Let's save, because I have a feeling things are going to go bad really soon. Yep. What is he doing? Oh, sure, walk towards the crooked man! Are you that stupid? Oh god, eek, is it, is it even the embryo model? Dumbass. Why well, I had to be such a badass, but such a dumbass at the same time. Gah! Mr. David! Oh boy. Oh, my head. Oh no. No! Stitch stay away! Yeah! Oh, it's going after Fluffy. Fluffy. Ugh, gotta chase that monster. Damn, my head. I'm bleeding. I'm so dizzy. Alright, let's save. And go after this darn crooked man. Save right here. Oh, there he is. Fluffy! <sighs> Sniffa! No, I don't want to stay away, stay away! I have to do something about that thing. Let's go. Come on. We only have 50 seconds. Fire hydrant! <sighs> I'll use this against the monster. Sorry, move over a little bit so you guys. GET AWAY FROM FLUFFY! MR. DAVID! <coughs> MR. DAVID! Fluffy... You're not hurt. Nope, I'm fine! I'm sorry, Mr. David, it, it was my fault that you got hurt, Mr. David. It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't... do anything. Well... Passed out. Mr. David! It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner... Mr. David! Did I pass out? Damn it. Head still hurts. Damn monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy. I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? I... I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. <sighs> Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure Mother's there, so... I, I told Mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me. So I'll, I'll wait for her. Mama would lie. She's going to come for me. So I have to wait here. He really should be with the police, but he just won't listen. If I try to force him, I'll just run. I'll give it a little more time, then I'll force him to go, if I have to. I do wonder what his mom's doing, though. Leaving her son behind like this? I can't believe some people. And what's this monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now he's just after Fluffy. 
I don't think I could possibly know. I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. You're a good kid, Fluffy, putting up with all this. You're really great. I bet your mom's proud of you. But I'll learn more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? I can't say. But I'll protect you if there are, so don't run away from me, okay? I'll stay with you, Mr. David. Alright, so... I don't think Fluffy's mom's coming at all. <laughs> So, I know, I think I understand what we need to do. Here it is. I need to write out family, so I remember. So, F-A-M-I-L-Y. I think that's how you spell family. God dang it. How sh I Let's see, a piece is Y-A-F-I-M-N-L. So, I know F goes here, A goes here, M goes here, fam, fam, ma, uh, family, is this right? I hope to God's right. Family. Unlocked box. Yes! I spelled it right! Yay! You're like, how do you not know how to spell family? Got a safe key. Alright, so this is what the safe that goes with, obviously. Unlock the safe. Got a revolver and pistol ammo! Oh, sweet! All right. So now that we have that, I think it'd be a good idea to save right here. Wah! God damn it, Mr. David! My monster, Mr. David, help! Grr, that monster's damn persistent. Fluffy, over here! No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here. Don't let that monster come near you. Ah, Fluffy! I gotta go after Fluffy. Oh, we're out. We are so. I am so ready to kick some crooked man ass. There's only one place I think they could go, and that's on the freaking roof. Alright. No hand shaking. I got this. No, 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 no. Stay away, Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy, don't let it get near. Ah, oh, run away, Mr. David, help! Damn it. It really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen, don't let it catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Uh. Okay. Alright, here we go, guys. Come on, die, you stupid monster. Oh, oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, I got it. I thought I shot Fluffy there for a second. Oh, boy. <coughs> this is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Yes, uh, I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even it could... Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? 
Why? Huh? I... It's so scary, but I keep hanging in there, and I... I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Oh, sorry. So why won't Mama come? DOES MAMA HATE ME?! Fluffy! Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true! It's not, it, it... That's not... You... You... I'm going to Mr. Policeman. Huh? Well, okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine! I can go there myself! Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own, even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mom isn't there, I won't cry. What? Oh, that ring really irritates me. Ah. Well, like, if this was an all playing this, you probably don't hear it as well, but I do. It's just like, ah. Oh. My, my head. Oh, sorry. My head. He's like, it's going to explode. Fluffy? He, he left on his own. No, Fluffy. Your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing. Nothing will change. Time to go. What the? Sound like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So did you come for him? That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice came from the clink side. I'll check it out. The door is open. Oh boy. I don't think this is Fluffy's mother. Who who's that over there? Shadow. Is it gonna manifest? Hey, who are you? No way, this is a figment. Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? That's... that's not... Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet you abandon me. No! You were sick, Mom! So... So you left me? My own family? Couldn't stand me anymore? No! You're wrong! Holy shit! Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here! Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. Are you going to try and kill me again? What the f- did, did he try to kill her? Like, what?
It hurts so much, Davy. I think he's lost control of his loony bin. You, why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. I kept saying things like that. Dad just went on, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a father. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! STOP! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please tell me if I did something wrong! Are you teasing me because it's not funny? Please, Mom! Quiet! I'm not your mother! I don't know you! Get out! Enough. Holy sh- Murderer! Somebody! Murderer! David! David! Hey, what are you doing? <coughs> hey, stop! Let go! You're trying to kill her? David! Tried to strangle his own mother out of frustration. I think I can understand why he's depressed. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting much pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain illnesses. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we noticed a little sooner, Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. Ah, what now? Sorry, message. Sorry, guys. There you go. No. We're not family anymore. Don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have. I would never have been forgiven for it. It really was hatred of me. And it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family, my precious family who cared for me after my father left and yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family all go awry. So, okay. Shut up, phone. And even family will go awry. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There's only one way from the very beginning. Oh, he's going to try to commit suicide, isn't he? Scene 3. Central Hospital Fluffy. End. Alright, so I'm just going to keep going because it looks like we're getting near the end, so I'm just going to keep playing. So let's see what's up next. I guess this may- yep, Paul Marion trying to contact him. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley, 
He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Th th that scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help now, did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it. Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Oh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David! David, where are you? Central Hospital. What? Why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. David! Hey, David! Damn it. It'd take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. All right, so we're off to see David. <coughs> David's car. He's still got to be here. Come on, Mary, it's dark, so stay close to me. Right. Alright. So we're just gonna probably keep playing to the end, so this is gonna be a long video. Please keep hold with me. Were those footsteps there from upstairs? Is that you, David? Maybe up a little more. What the? Who's there? What are you doing there? Uh, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. They weren't real. Man, the hell was that? Oh, let me guess, D? Fluffy? Someone else, David? Hey, who are you? Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Oh, what? Why are there so many people in here? I don't get it! I'm guessing that... There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? Don't tell me kids wandering here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. Hey, kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What's with him? Why did he know David? Did he meet him? 
Forget about. Let's go, Marion. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Oh, they're not real. Only he, only he and David can see them. Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. So that's it, huh? So that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right, please come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. Oh, here it goes. David's gonna try to commit suicide, I just know it. I'm gonna explain what I thought when the credits roll when we end the game. David, what are you doing out there? Open door. <coughs> David. Paul. Why? Why are you here? To come to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away! David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. There it is. No matter what... That's what I'll be! And all of those are the only things I'll have! Oh, David, what? What? That's... <coughs> agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now, David! Punch you. Ah! Ow! You damn monster! Get away from David! <coughs> what? Hey, ow! I st stop! Ah! That hurts! Stop, you moron! David, you're back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell! Is that the kind of thing you do sane? I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my cult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanatic, is it? Don't I always tell you I see it? You and Mary never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy, D, and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy may be, but Sissy and Dee wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. Oh, so Sissy, Dee, and Fluffy are the leftover consciousness of the former tenant, and the, or the crooked man. So, he's meeting 
these pieces of his consciousness and he's fixing them in a way. He made Sissy believe and say it's alright never to forget. He made D just like keep trying but don't ever say it was for nothing and Fluffy like you you just can't lose your faith in people. More of your occult shtick. You seriously making fun of this cults after this? Just listen and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core, and always sympathize with others, and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, I don't... I... Look, don't. I barely know him. You know a little from that stuff he left. Plus, that was all the stuff he could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's a spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Then back. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't the people weren't there people who relied on you who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me, get back, got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address, and I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I don't... I feel like if I don't, the cookie man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David! You come back to a safe. I, I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Wow. Scene 4. Central Hospital. Paul. End. Alright. Well, guys, it looks like we're definitely nearing the end of this game. One final showdown with the Crooked Man. This is the place, for sure. Could this be his house? Bollocks says McGahn. Must have been the resident's name. I think... We only have one more key left. It's the bloody one. Unlock the door. Ooh. I don't like the music in here. Oh, I hate this music. There are clothes sitting in the water filled washing machine. The toilet water reeks. The broken mirror feels like it was struck with something. Bath water is muddy. It seems bizarre. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Oh, here it is. Got a scrap from a notebook. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. And all I could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful and lit up despair? Such a life has no meaning. 
Ooh. Getting deep. Oh, there's something on the floor. I was like, why can't I move? I'm a scrap for a notebook. The hotel, the school, and the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't settle my heart. In the end, my festering heart went part of the neighbor's touring. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind. Not even words. Alright, we're heading upstairs. Found a scrap for a notebook. Why? Why? No 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 cigarettes. I need a smoke. Oh that looks a pretty big room. The book. We're gonna have to read all this once over. A black covered notebook. So we're on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combined all the scraps, got a notebook. There's a name on the back. Duke. Duke Maga. That is... Here we go. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. Is he crying? Holy shit! Fight time. Crooked man. I can't end up like you. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be... The end. Alright guys, here it is. Hello crooked man, come over here you little shit. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, dear. Keep going, keep going. Oh, his streaks do damage. Oh, shoot. Damn! Ah! Oh, dang it! Oh, I can't die already. Dang it! I said turn! Oh, we're down at 15 health. Oh, go, 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 go! God damn it, go, go! Yes! We got him, guys! Holy shit! Crooked man. I'm not going to be like you. You fail to catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone! Oh, it gets light in here. Oh, we are so low on health. Well, guys, I think it's time we read Duke's Notebook. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and withering. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. I don't need her memory more. I don't... I know she won't come back, so I have to get everything good and bad. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many use are blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. What was so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made sense. I loathed those days. I know there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious usefulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I'm a half knot. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. 
Another told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self, back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. Hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same in all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't settle my heart. In the end, my festering heart when part of the paper is torn. Mine is an empty existence. Leave it behind, not even words. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. Why? Okay, I don't care about reading that. Out of cigarettes, I need to smoke. So that's the end, guys. There's a door to the edge. You might be able to pry it open. This is it, guys. Duke. Duke. There he is. He hung himself. In the end, he couldn't take it anymore. Isn't he wearing the same clothes that David wore? Because I find that bullshit. Alright. Duke. You, you detested me. Though I lived such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down, so you called me? No, that's not right. You wanted to help me. To tell me, don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place. So... Now, you can rest in peace. Wow. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's watch the ending. Well, it must have been rough, David, finding a corpse on your trip, but it sounds like it ended up all right. I'll go make some tea. <sighs> he was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I, I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later, I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't ya? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Ooh, what's this? Hello? Huh? Okay, I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. Oh, God. They're going to have to do the operation. To Take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Doctor! Doctor, mom, mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't so difficult, but you might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's she's the only family I have. Please. Sign this. Getting ready now. We'll do the best we can. Okay. Doctor! Mom! Mom! The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her.
What's some light in here? Unless that makes her condition worse. David? Mom! Mom. Oh, thank God. You woke up. You really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You help you help me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed after all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted. Thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Oh, I'm getting that choking feeling in my throat, guys. This is so hard. Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. That's very big as a crooked. Your life's not crooked. I was so proud of you. Having you as my son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things, and I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. Oh... Uh... Oh, God. Here you go, Mom. Mom? Mom. Mom. Oh, that hits me right in the god dang feels. Oh, that sucks. All, after that discussion, all she wanted to do was know that he was happy. And to remind him that she, no matter how unhappy she was, she was still loving and caring towards him. I'm so choked up I can barely speak. She got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm going to live without blaming myself... Those words are going to help a lot. That's why she said them. That's why she thought. It's fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. David. David. Marion? Why are you... Shirley! Why are you? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you go give David the cult? Ah! Mm hmm. Where going? Okay, okay, stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. It's good you came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David. David. I was anxious. I was unsure of where I'm going. I'm worried that the road I'm walking will be full of twists and turns. Maybe I did need your kindness. You never let me down. How did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David, it's okay with you. Would you like to... David, I'm sorry. Please don't cry. No, I'm not sad. I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed, and I just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. 
It's okay, Shirley. However off kilter things get, we'll set them straight. I promise you. David. You know what I think? The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. Cigarettes. I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my god, A plus infinity. That this game's definitely everything everyone said it is. Great story, great horror, great tension. You see, horror movies the one thing bad horror movies do is they focus too much on the the jump scares and the too much tension building that they forget that published in 1926 in the public domain wow and just everything just great story I'm definitely gonna be playing more of Yuri's games I'm definitely gonna be playing more of Yuri's games Thanks for playing the Crooked Man and congrats on the good ending. This is an extra page. Lose the page if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. About second playthrough. The door at the top leads to a second playthrough. There's no change in story battles or choices, but some events near the ending change. Please try if you're interested. Second play will be indicated. Second play will be indicated. Playthroughs three and up have no changes. About the series. This ends The Crooked Man, but I like to make a series of similar games. I hope you might play them when they come out. They'll be available on my blog. Okay. The impetus to create this game from a strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Wow. Writing it all would be too long a story, unfortunately. It might be available on my blog. This game is less scary than my last game, Paranoiac. But I consider having more action in this one. The author will be delighted if you enjoyed it again. Thank you for playing. Alright, guys. Thus ends our playthrough of The Crooked Man. Um, now, I'm going to try to go and give you videos of bad ends. And hopefully I'll do a... Like, I don't know if I'm going to record my second playthrough. I'm going to play it just for myself. To see the changes that are made. This game is easily downloadable. Um, I don't have a link which really sucks. But if you look it up through Google. You'll find it. There are multiple downloads of this game. I got this one off of Wolf Shed. Um, so yeah. About me playing more of various games. He has Paranoiac. Uh, the Sandman. Uh, Mermaid Swamp. And a new one called the Boogeyman. So. I really think I need to try to play the other games full way through to completely fully understand the references that are going to be made in the Boogeyman. Or I could just play it, who knows. But um, sorry I was looking over there. <laughs> but anyway, wow, I'm so glad I got this all recorded in one day. One day we finished the entire game. And what a fantastic game it was. So, as always, thank you all for watching. What a great message. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Brony Time for more content. And here ends the Crooked Man.
Tell me what you want to play. Do you want me to play Sandman or Maymaid Swamp or Paranoiac? I will. Paranoiac, I've seen stuff for, so yeah, I've pretty much seen a lot of stuff for this game. But thank you for watching. And I thought I was horrible with puzzles, but I did pretty well, to be honest. So thank you all for putting up with this hour-long video, and I hope to see you in more games. See ya.